Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Friday, May the 20th, 2011. It's the fourth week of Easter. The scripture for this service, Psalm 51, Wisdom, chapter 6, verse 12 to 23, Revelation, chapter 11, verse 15 to 18. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. Alleluia, Psalm 51. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me again the joy of your help, with the spirit of fervor sustain me that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. Open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humbled contrite heart, you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6 beginning at verse 12. Wisdom shines brightly and never fades. She is seen by those who love her and is found by those who seek her. She reveals herself to all who desire to know her. And those who rise early to search for her will not grow weary of the journey, for they will find her seated at the door of their own houses. To ponder her is the fullness of wisdom, and to be loyal is her pursuit. To be loyal in her pursuit is the shortcut to the freedom from care. She searches the far ends of the earth for those who are worthy of her, and she appears to them on their daily path with kindness, meeting them halfway in all their journeys. The true meaning of wisdom is to desire to learn and to be passionate about learning is to love her. The love of wisdom means always keeping her laws. Keeping her standards assures you of immortality, and staying pure you brings you close to God. In this way, the desire for wisdom leads you to true sovereignty. If you rule over people's wish to keep your thrones and symbols of power, then honor wisdom so that you may lead forever. I will now tell you about wisdom and how she came to be, and I will not conceal her mysteries from you. I will trace her path right from the beginning and make the knowledge of her as bright as the day. I will make the hunger, nor will I make the hunger for power my companion, for it and wisdom have nothing in common. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. 
We pray for your holy church that all may be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you, that your name may be glorified by all. We pray for Joe and Tom and Alan and for all of our church leaders, that they may be faithful ministers of word and sacrament. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, that there may be justice on, and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all we undertake, that our works may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, that they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest, let perpetual light shine upon them. We praise you for St. Francis and St. Clair and all your saints who have entered into your joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. For the mercy of God community, for the intentions of all who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our God. Alleluia. The seventh trumpet. The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our God and of God's Christ, and Christ will reign forever and ever. We give you thanks, God Almighty, who are and who were, for you have, you have taken your great power and begun your reign. The nations raged, but your wrath has come, and the time for judging the dead, for rewarding your servants, the prophets, and saints, and all who fear your name, both small and great and for destroying those who destroy the earth. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our God. Alleluia. Bless Yahweh, my soul and glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.